It's the little moments that no one sees. Stacked day after day, year after year. That's what drives us all to win. It's the little moments that make the big ones. The grind does pay off, but there's more work to be done here. The work for this championship. For this championship. It never stops. Never. Winning is a team. It's what we're all chasing. And when you do it once, you'll do everything to do it again. It's perfecting every part of your game. And pushing every part of your body. It's doing the same thing over and over. And then doing it some more. It's practicing on Tuesday. So we can celebrate on Sunday. So we can celebrate on Sunday. So we can celebrate on Sunday. Oh, yes! What a way to finish it! Listen to the roar. What an atmosphere. A brilliant final day! And for every teammate on this tour, that's what we live for. Rose! The 2023 Live Golf League season is about to reach the halfway stage. And we celebrate that landmark in the nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Liv's Commander-in-Chief right now is Brooks Kepka. His latest PGA Championship win has elevated him onto the Mount Rushmore of his generation's golfers. But in the Live Golf League, 12 teams are also vying for superpower status. DeChambeau, Cam Smith and Dustin Johnson all hope to lead their teams to the promised land. This is the DC edition of the Live Golf League and it starts right now. The DC tournament was a home game for Ripper GC's Mark Leishman. As he prepped for the event, he enjoyed the benefits Perfect. of the comfortable surroundings. Okay, boys. <laughs> it really does feel like a home game for me. i be able to spend an extra day here with the kids. All right, let's have a chip and comp. You wanna go first? No? All right. Oh, bit of pressure here, Harvey. Good shot. I'm just a notoriously bad packer. Sometimes I'll like, I'll get there and I won't even have socks. Like it's just <laughs> good for the week there, I reckon. I always check my loft lies before I go to tournaments. Um, just so if something funky is happening, I know it's more than likely my fault, not the club's fault. <laughs> I feel like everything's in, in order. I haven't been making the putt. I definitely think I've underachieved this year with how I've been playing. So uh, I'm hoping to have a really good week this week up in DC and really kickstart the rest of the year to uh, have a real big finish. Yes, Yesterday afternoon. <laughs> 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 It was a star-studded first group that began play in the nation's capital. Brooks Kepka, Dustin Johnson, and Cam Smith, a combined nine majors between them, looked to make an early impact. It's 285s to that. So you are reaching that way. This is lovely. Solid round from Cam Smith. Over at 17. Oh, Cam. Cam Smith, well within range. However, the leaderboard was instead topped by a couple of unexpected faces. Andy Ogletree playing as a reserve this week, and he's had a terrific start. Andy Ogletree, who replaced injured Paul Casey on Crusher's GC's roster, seized the opportunity. Well, it's the young guns so far today, David. Ogletree yeah, and Pyatt at the top of the tree. And 24-year-old James Pyatt of High Flyers GC displayed the poise of a veteran as he smoothly worked the greens. James Pyatt for his birdie. Oh. Drains it. What an up and down that is. It felt like I couldn't miss for a while. I mean, my caddy looks at me when I finally two putt. He's like, you know, that's like your first two putt in seven holes. And I was like, I had no idea. So it was good out there today on the greens. Iron Hedge GC remained on their quest for their first live team title. Captain Kevin Na 
with his impressive shot making, put his team exactly where they wanted to be. Kevin's forward the bar so far! And that's how he got there. The Ironheads have suddenly surged out of nowhere to a tie with the Range Goats. There's a guy who's been running into form as well. The dominant play of Harold Bonner III placed him and Range Goats GC on top of the individual and team leaderboards. Oh, an eagle two for Varner. And he is having a terrific opening day here in DC. Yeah. All played Harold Varner. That's a great round of golf, 64. The range notes are playing well, and I just want to, I want to contribute, but I want to, I want to freaking win. Andy Ogletree began round two in third place. As he headed to the course with his girlfriend, Ali, he was determined to seize the opportunity in front of him, a chance to play for Crusher's GC and to be in title contention for the first time. I didn't know I was gonna be playing this week. I showed up on Tuesday and the Crusher team manager came over to me and said, hey, uh, would you wanna be a Crusher this week? And I was like, yeah, sounds good. Uh, Let's do it. My routine's always the same. When I show up on a on a Tuesday and find out I'm in, I'm always ready to go. Go time, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get it. I've been in the reserve all year now, doing my routine, going to the gym, being ready to go at all times. What are we wearing today? White shirt, black shorts. I totally, I hope I got the right one. Ogletree and High Flyers GC's young gun, James Pyatt, began the second round both determined to prove their round one success was not a fluke. Well, we could like scuba early, you can't figure it out yet. One of the first to arrive. Am I? Yeah. I'm on Phil's time, so whatever Captain wants, it's really what they're rolling. <laughs> Morning, guys. Morning. 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 As round two began, Ogletree and Pyatt continued their strong play and stayed in contention. Looks like he is embracing this situation that he finds himself in, James Pyatt. Ogletree for birdie. Calmly done once again by Andy Ogletree. Range Goats GC's Harold Varner III had a two-stroke lead at the start of round two. Range Goats! Let's go! Right into the knob of the Yes, perfect. With one of the toughest fields of golf in pursuit, Varner knew he needed another strong performance to solidify his place on top. Oh, Absolutely superb from Harold Varner. Plenty of tension out there. A big pitch month one was but. Ripper GC's Cam Smith's shot making almost always had him in contention. Round two was no different. Cameron Smith is a huge threat. Majestic's GC's Henrik Stenson was on fire in round two and rocketed up the leaderboard. And he is just on the coattails of our leaders. Henrik Stenson has this for Eagle. Five under today. Majestic's. The super majestic. It is always nice to put yourself in contention. Of course, I hope tomorrow could be the day where we, where we pick up some nice points. The team competition was hotly contested, and Tulsa champion Stinger GC had their sights set on a repeat in the nation's capital. Well, I'm not sure who was on the barbecue last night for Team Stinger, but they're on fire today. Stenzi at the floor, it's simple. Oh, oh, yes. Shot, but it wasn't that simple. And Louis is having himself a day. Torque GC had no intention of letting the Stingers run away with the title. Sebastian Munoz put the field on notice. Sebastian Munoz. Torque. Vito Pereira on a hot streak. It was the stellar play of Torque's Mito Pereira, whose record-breaking 10 birdie day secured his and Torque's place as the leaders heading into Championship Sunday. Look at it yesterday here in this little section here, it's fine. Yeah. Mito Pereira is the man in form out there oh. at the moment. Oh. Yes, and 
indeed. And Torquay have the lead in the team competition. It seems like in every part of the world there's some Chileans cheering for us, so it's, it's cool to see and cool to hear and play our best. We'll have good days, it'll be a really good tournament. It's all set up for a thrilling Championship Sunday. Mito will have to work for his crown. Harold Varner, Henrik Stenson and Kevin Nara snapping at his heels. Brooks Kepka, Cam Smith within striking distance. On Championship Sunday, Stinger GC's Charles Schwartzel made a memorable entrance. How can I going to bring you guys good vibes today? Keep flying like a ham, looks like we might win. <laughs> <laughs> And his teammates in D.C., who began the day just three strokes off the lead, made their presence felt on the course. Louis Oosthuizen led the charge. Confidently struck, birdie birdie start. Brandon Grace, the driving force behind the Stinger's effort, began the day in ninth place on the individual leaderboard. Yet when the title was at stake, Grace was a force to be reckoned with. Well, Brandon Grace has an opportunity Ripper GC's Cam Smith, in search of his first live title in 2023, jumped to the top of the leaderboard early in round three. I reckon it needs to be rolling sort of over that green one. The one to the right? Yeah. Cam Smith has this for eagle. But the speed and lag putting is always going to be reliable. Cam Smith, he's at it again. Torque's Mito Pereira began round three on top of the leaderboard, but a rocky start caused him to slide down the pylon. Tough start to Championship Sunday drops two in two. Just a nightmare start. With the help of sharp play by teammate Sebastian Munoz. That is fabulous from Munoz. And David Puge. For eagle at three, and he does. Torque made their approach to the top of the team leaderboard. And that puts Torque three clear of Stinger. The individual leaderboard was crowded with title contenders. Bryson DeChambeau, he's in contention now. We still can't hit on the stop it, so you're still going to thread the needle. Get down, get down. Range Goat GC's Harold Bernard III got everyone's attention with spectacular shot making. Uh, spin of leads for Harold Varner. Mito Pereira had fallen three strokes off the lead. He closed that distance with a single putt. Oh, this is good pace. Oh, wow, out of nowhere. Mito Pereira will not go down lightly, and it puts Torque too clear. Pereira's putt gave Torque a two-stroke lead over Stinger. A birdie putt by Sebastian Munoz. That could be huge. All but assured, Torque's second title of the season. Torque at the top of the team pylon with the holes running out. Three shots! As Torque was closing the door on the team competition, Harold Varner III sought to do the same in the individual chase. There it is! Oh, Harold! HV3 will take a two-stroke lead to the 16th. Yet Varner learned quickly what many had already known. When Stinger Brandon Grace was in pursuit, no lead was safe. Brandon Grace now. Tap that birdie here. Singularly focused right now. Try and win this thing. It was one clutch shot after another, and Mito Pereira needed one of his own. Oh! I can hear the groans from Santiago, Chile. One hole remained. Brandon Grace, a single shot back, had to avoid mistakes and make birdie to get even. It's a better strike than his second shot into the last. Oh, and what a kick! And Brandon Grace just exert some pressure here on Harold Varner. This is a birdie putt to tie the lead. 
Yes, he can. It's over yet. He has a share of the lead. Absolutely clutch. And it now needs to birdie the 18th to avoid a playoff. It's just fine. Harold Varner, the third, marching down the 18th. Should do it. This putt for Pereira means Torque is going to win. Torque victorious in the team competition. The Harold Varner, the third. This for victory. Effervescent, infectious character. He earned it with a show of grit, steel, talent, and sheer personality. The individual champion after a stellar performance from Range Girls GC, Harold Varner the third. Gosh, I almost made it. <laughs> Feels good. I feel like I've been playing well, but you know, at the end of the day, I, I want to be up there with my team. You know, winning's not easy anywhere, and I'm just super excited. I just want to build on it, keep getting better. And now, the team champions up, of man. Live Golf Washington DC, Torque GC. We did it again. <laughs> Pretty good to be here. And, yeah. Awesome. I'm really happy for winning as a team and have a good week.